Okay. So we have two things. Uh, like record types are there and phase layouts are there. So the use of record type and phase layout is the record type is basically used to distinguish between uh, in a single uh, the, the, the properties of one object into multiple sections or multiple perspectives. So and the phase layout controls the fields on the on that particular detail screen or the new created screen. Apart from it, a record type is used to control the depend the 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 values available into the pick list fields also. Okay. And how we can like how we can assign a record type and phase layout. So basically uh for every profile we can assign a different phase layout for same record type. Okay. So let's suppose we have one profile two record types. Okay. So then profile one can can have a different different record different different page layout on the both both of the record type and can have a single record type also we have multiple profiles but single single record type then both profiles can have same page layout also or multiple page layout also so in general use case the purpose of creating record type and page layout is to distinguish between the page layouts also the fields visible on the on the screens or Values available into the pick list. So usually we create a different different record type and different different page layout. Like for each record type, we'll have a page layout. That's not a hard coded rule, but it's it's part of practice or like it it allows us to create a scalable solution. Okay, so whenever because because the purpose of creating record type is to distinguish uh, the records between the same object and if like because the properties are different different for both of both of both type of records so there are majority of transfers uh fields visible on the both of the detail page will be different different if that's not the case in your use case then do not create a custom custom uh custom page layout or different different page layout okay so let's see this into the action okay so Let's let's come to object manager. We have contact. Okay. Let's come to the record type. I'm creating a record type as a teacher. Okay. It's visible to all. I'm clicking on the next. The layout is like contact layout as of now the single layout is there okay i'm clicking on the save and new because this layout we can change it later also i will show how we can change it i'm creating another another report type also which is a student okay and i'm making it available for all profiles one record type can be only one record type can be default for each object into the profile level so i click on the save only okay i went on onto the page layout i am creating two different different page layout so one is teacher okay i'll put some some information here like uh name was already there so i will put the address also so mailing address i'm going to put here okay for a teacher i'm creating a student also for a student based out i'm putting the birth date okay now we have this page layout assignment okay i'm clicking on this edit assignment okay now you will see like the profiles are here and the report types are here so i'm just making changes for system admin only so for system admin for student uh, 
report type we will have this student page layout and for teacher we will have the teacher layout the same can be applied like for all all profiles can have the the same layout like student layout for uh, student layout for student record type and teacher layout for teacher record type okay i'm clicking on the save button okay now let's come and create a contact i click here it asks me like what i need to create i need to create a teacher okay so you could see the addresses addresses here so let's say i'm creating a teacher name as a carpet okay now i'm again creating a teacher sorry again creating a contact now i'm choosing a student now you see the birth date is here not not the mailing address for a student we'll select avisek okay and this is date field i mentioned like whenever we click on like whenever we try to put data into the date field the calendar automatically pop up okay now i also mentioned like uh, we can control the quick list value also so let me show you how we can do okay i'm going into the object manager and let's search for contact let's see so are you able to see any quick list value quick list field here lead source right now let's come to the record type what is the record type this is record type and i click on the student lead source is here i'm clicking on the edit button okay so a student like it can come from multiple things so i'm just putting these two values okay then let's go for a different record type teacher okay and i'm editing it and teacher like i'm i'm removing all other thing i'm just putting the seminars here okay said so i will add this value like this field on the both page layout so a student let's search for lead source i'm putting it here okay i just click on the quick save and i'll move to teacher okay for teacher also i will put lead source here okay i clicked on the save button i moved here let's click on the detail screen this is a student right we could see lead source let me refresh it could see two values are here okay now let's let's look into the teacher click on the detail button lead source the different two values are here okay so that's how we can control the uh, the drop down values of quick list field using the decode type okay now coming back to the slides 